Hey everyone, PJ here, and I can't think of an introduction for this one. All of you already know what a commercial is, so I'm not going to beat around the bush. So sit back and relax and enjoy seven of the most cursed commercials I could find. There's good reason for my glistening skin. Ugh, keep it to yourself, dude. So, Little Baby's Ice Cream is an ice cream company based in Philadelphia. I don't know what the people behind this commercial were thinking with this ad campaign, and something tells me I don't want to know. This commercial depicts a humanoid creature composed entirely out of ice cream eating itself. Yeah. How is this supposed to make people want ice cream again? Like, seriously, what was this team on? And also, where can I get some? I'm asking for a friend. His name's JP Skinwalker. I actually made a YouTube poop with this commercial last night. Though, sadly, Little Baby's Ice Cream went out of business back in 2011. But one question remains. Who exactly is the person in the commercial? Well, I couldn't find much information about this person, but I did find that they weren't covered in ice cream at all. As it turns out, this is actually your mom after a night out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Did you know there's a dance called a funky chicken? Yeah. I couldn't find a lot of information on this one. All I know is that it aired in the UK. What gets the funky chicken ad on this list is the design of the two dancers. The black hair one doesn't look that bad, but the blonde one straight up looks like if Courtney Love had a baby with that one enemy from Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story and gave it fetal alcohol syndrome. I hope whoever designed this character got fired. The only thing I can really say about this one is, don't do drugs, kids. What the f were these people on? Well, I'm officially scared away from doing drugs. What about you, Duck Bear? Duck Bear? Uh oh. I think I broke him. Man, I might just chill tonight. Puppy monkey baby. This commercial aired during the 2016 Super Bowl. The mascot of this commercial, Puppy Monkey Baby, is supposed to be a combination of three awesome things in reference to Mountain Dew Kickstart. And whoever made this commercial must have smoked a hell of a doobie. Personally, I think instead of making this an advert for Mountain Dew, I think Puppy Monkey Baby should have been used as an anti-drug PSA. If I saw this thing entering my house, I'd run like hell. What do you think? Oh, you're still not over the baby ad. That's gonna appear in my dreams tonight, dude. A chocolate commercial, huh? This can't be that bad. Kinda. You both icky. There is not a chance in hell I'm accepting chocolate from this creature! This Kinder Surprise Day commercial was aired in the UK in 1983. And I don't know what's up with the UK and making cursed commercials. I thought that was Japan's thing. I think the most cursed thing about this abomination is that instead of giving its body a regular eggshell texture, they decided to give it human skin. Hey there, kids! It's me, Humpty Dumpty! <laughs> Did you know that I like to wear the skin of missing children? This ad was eventually pulled because, big surprise, it was traumatizing children. I wonder what scared them the most. Was it the design of Humpty Dumpty, his voice, or him rambling like a madman? There's one person nobody can resist, and that's a baby. So love made baby soft, with the innocent scent of a cuddly, clean baby. Uh, did Mr. Girl go back in time and direct this? This ad was made by Love Cosmetics in 1975 to introduce Love's baby soft perfume. It depicts a woman dressed as a little girl, licking a lollipop in a seductive manner. This perfume has a tagline, Innocence is sexier than you think. 
Which, if someone said that today, they get arrested right on the spot. My advice? Don't take advertising tips from the cuties man. Because you know what's not sexy? Big, big Bubba's bottom bitch. You know a commercial is going to be good when it starts out with a warning. This commercial was produced by a Japanese car company called Autoway to advertise their new snow tires. It starts out with a group of men driving down a snowy road at night when suddenly they see a ghostly woman in the distance. Before they can even react, we're met with a jump scare. Excuse me, gentlemen. Do you have time to talk about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? The commercial ends with a ghostly woman holding a sign that says something in Japanese. I'm pretty sure it says something like, snowy roads are scary. Well, this commercial sure did do a good job of getting people's attention, I can tell you that much. So, that was my list of the most cursed commercials I could find. But what do you think? Be sure to tell me in the comments what you think are the most cursed commercials in or outside of the list. Also, at the time of recording, I'll be turning 23 in two days. But, as always, my name is PJ and, uh, you know what? I'm not in the mood for ice cream right now. You ain't never gonna slow me down cause I feel alive now.